Boogie right now. 267-22 Diggy. Presenting Diggy Jaguar. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is the world famous Chicky Jaguar Radio Broadcast, coast to coast. Live on iHeartRadio today. Also AMFM 247.com. 2 Central for Eastern 12 Pacific FPM Standard. Get a hold of us online. We also have videos available at BitChute, Rumble, Clout Hub, YouTube. On occasion, we twitch on the Twitch. On occasion, we go live on Facebook. AMFM247.com as well. On demand archived audio available via talk show, iHeartRadio. We also have our uh, video. Uh, on-demand archived, on-demand archived video. <laughs> Can't say the P word. Uh, it is available on Rumble, and uh, we're gonna try to put. We're gonna try to create a YouTube channel. I had one at one point, and then we had our issues with the. Um, what the hell was I referring to him as? The copyright troll. We had some issues with our copyright troll friend. And we never went back to it. And then we had our issues with moving. And we never went back to it. So. Get a hold of us. J-I-G-G-Y-J-E-G-U-A-R dot com. So we're going to do this. I'm going to see if I can pull up our guest here. I believe we had a guest we were supposed to talk to earlier and I moved him. Yeah. I said three Eastern. They said two central. Two central is three Eastern. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Get a hold of us. J I G G Y J G U A R dot com. So earlier today, I, uh, you know, what, 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 why did I have, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing this hour, but it, 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 it'll be fun. Neither, neither the less. I think that's the proper pronunciation there of that. Uh, so something we have not got a chance to do because we've had all the nonsense that we have been dealing with. Um, so... I wanted, what is all this nonsense? Looking at all the stuff on, all the stuff. There we go. So, okay. Uh, oh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Okay, that's nothing. That's just talking about newspapers. Okay, so Talkers Magazine, so, something we have not done, which seems to be like a segment that we do every year. They have this thing called the Heavy Hundred, and it is Talkers Magazine where they rate the 100 most powerful talk show hosts in broadcast a lot of times it's basically me talking a lot of sh on the guys who are in broadcasting and then of course i have to always run down the list of people who should be on the list who are not on the list look at that i can i can control my lights and turn them down a little bit look at that I can't control that light. Well, I can't control that light, but then I'd have to go out of frame. I'd have to go out of frame. It'd be like Rush. And be all, uh... Be all, uh... Vain. Rush Limbaugh was vain, I will have to say. What is the deal with that light? I think it's just this room. This room is garbage. I'm currently broadcasting from a haunted house. I'm also broadcasting from if you watch us if you watch us on video, it looks like 
the walls are green screen green. That is not done on purpose. There was a guy years ago, Burgess Francois Martin, who did this to a studio somewhere here in here in Hutchins. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go backwards on the radio talk show host thing on this heavy hundred. And <laughs> We're going to do this a certain way, and this is going to be hilarious. That, of course, is the back end of JiggyJaguar.com. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get this all in frame and get it a certain way. So the Heavy 100 is Talkers Magazine 2024 Heavy 100. It's the 100 most important talk show hosts on this planet. The very first one, or the very 100, we're going to go backwards. Got to do it different this year. Scott Sands. Uh, he looks like the guy who taught me how to ride my bike, who was also in radio. Um, Chris something. Chris... I don't know. I was going to say Chris Schroeder, but that's Cousin Chris from Cheeky Jake TV. No relation to Scott Sands. No relation to the guy who taught me how to ride my bike. So as, I, as, as you can see, I don't care about Chris Sands. 99 is Walter Sterling. Walter Sabell. Walter Sterling. I've had one conversation in my life with Walter Sterling, and it did not go well. He's a radio consultant who became a talk show host. Uh, that's all I got to say. I've read his columns in Talkers Magazine. He does, he does say some cool stuff. Um, Steve Gruber uh, from Michigan Talk Network. Steve Gruber, the only thing I know about this guy is he has a show on that real America's voice. So that's all I know about him. Rick Smith of the aforementioned the Rick Smith show. I don't know what a Rick Smith is. Uh, he's patriotic because he's in front of a flag. That's all I got. 96 is... Dave Noregia, Norega, maybe? Debbie Juganovic, Juvanovic, maybe? Du Dujanovic, she sounds like a basketball player. From KSL Salt Lake City. I, 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 I don't know who these people are. Uh, Larry Young from Baltimore is 95. I don't know what a Larry Young is. He does not look like his name because he looks like an old guy. Uh, Joyce Kaufman is number 94 from Fort Lauderdale. She looks old. She looks like the Crypt Keeper in that photo. Um, and of course, because... I bash all these people, not because I'm not on the list. I don't bash them because I'm jealous of any of them. I simply look at this list and I think about the people who could be on this list. And they're not. And I'm like, why in the world are you on this list? Rod Arquette from Salt Lake City. I believe it's the same radio station that, or was it? There it is. KSL. I bet he's on KSL. No, he's on KNRS. Huh. How could two Salt Lake City people be in the top 90 of the Talkers Magazine every under? That's amazing to me. Mo Kelly from KF High, KF High, Los Angeles. 
KFI, of course. The only thing I know about KFI is KFI used to be the home of Tom Likas, which we will talk about Tom Likas a little bit later on. Karen Hunter from Sirius XM. I think she's progressive. Um, I don't know. Martha Zolar. She is a radio consultant, I believe. From Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, if I don't say anything, it's because I know nothing about these people. I guess I could say something nasty about each and every one of them, but should I be doing that? I don't know. Bruce St. James and Larry Gatos. Gatos. Bruce St. James. I believe there was a guy used to be in Wichita by the name of Lester St. James. I think I might be friends with that guy on Facebook somewhere. Uh, I don't know. They're from Phoenix. Paul Vanderberg from Albany, New York. WGTJ. I don't know. Will I be in the Albany area? I don't think I'll be in the Albany area soon. The Monsters of the Midway. Of course, WTKS in Orlando. The Monsters is kind of an interchange. It's a brand at this point that is interchangeable. I don't think any of those people that are on that show have been on that show for a long duration of time. I think it's just a brand at this point, and they just put people in and take people out. Tony Katz from WIBC, WBC, WIBC, like the root beer. I was thinking like the boxing company, but that's WBA or the IBF. Tony Katz, Tony Katz man. I don't know. Mark Davis, which is not the Mark Davis that was on this show years ago. I always say it every year when I see his name on there. Not that Mark Davis. John DePietro. The only thing I can think of John DePietro here. He's from Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Where is that? Uh, as opposed to where we are on um, 990 WBOB out there in Rhode Island. Uh, are we near? Are we on anywhere that near Wound Socket? John DePietro. He looks like the guy who played Daredevil in that Incredible Hulk TV movie back in the day with Bill Bixby. Uh, Gene Valley Sentai or Sentai or Providence, Rhode Island. Another Rhode Island. A lot of a lot of talk radio people in Rhode Island. Charlie Kirk from Salem Radio. I've listened to Charlie Kirk's show one time. I think I made it ten minutes in. And I'm like, this is crap. <laughs> this is crap. Rich Valdez from Western One. Uh, I don't know who Rich Valdez is. Of course, he's always on the list every single year. Joe Piscopo, baby. I like Joe Piscopo. Uh, former Saturday Night Live guy. He's been a talk radio show host. Um, WNYM in New York. I don't know. Rob Carson from Newsmax. <laughs> Rob Carson. Rob Carson's got a show on Newsmax. And then, of course, the guy who does, um, he was kind of like the replacement for Art Bell, this Clyde Lewis character, Ground Zero Radio. I don't think he uses the same voice guy as uh, Art Bell. If you're calling east of the Rockies, um, Dan Mendes from Nashville. I don't know what a Dan Mandis is. Gordon Deal is the guy who does that good morning show that's on all the, uh, when you pull up talk radio stations across the country and you look, he's always the the guy at 5 a.m. Gordon Deal. And of course, uh, that is 76 through 100. So let's do the next set, which of course would be 51 through 75. I'm going to go from the bottom up on this. 
none of these people, as I can clearly see, I give two shits about. Uh, C4 and Brian Newman. I bet C4 is the black guy from W B A L W Ball. I always wanted to be on W Ball. Guy Benson from Fox News. I don't know what a Guy Benson is. James T. Harris from Phoenix. I bet he's a black conservative. I can almost guarantee you. I do like the hat. I do like the cowboy hat. I've always said in the next inclination of Jigman Freud, I will become a cowboy. I have always said the next inclination of me, the J-I-double-G, I will become a cowboy. Bill Brady, not to be confused with a guy from the Brady Bill. Never a guy. Bob Surratt from WGN in Chicago. And then, of course, uh, at some point, I'm going to have to make a man cow reference because man cow is not on this list. But I don't think man cow's on the list because man cow's not on the radio anymore. He just does an Internet show now and has a restaurant, apparently, and avoids me every time I go to Chicago. Tom Sullivan, Talk Media Network. I think he was on Fox News at one point. Eric Von Heisler. Sounds like a Nazi boat captain. Uh, <laughs> sounds like a Nazi boat captain. I just called that guy a Nazi. Uh, Dr. Dahlia Walks from Genesis Communications Network. Of course, Genesis Communications Network going out of business. Uh, they should have hired Jigman Freud years ago. They are now going belly up because they did not know. Actually, they're probably going belly up because they're going belly up. That's what radio networks team tend to do. John Curley and Shari Elikar from Cairo. Hal J and Ernie Brown. I don't know who these people are. I don't know who any of these people are. Jennifer Horn. I think we interviewed her at one point on this show. Uh, get on the horn with Jennifer Horn. That that, that 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 should be her liner to get you to call a radio show. Bill Spada from Trenton, New Jersey. I will be in New Jersey. I don't know if I'll be in Trenton, but uh, I should look him up. And I should be like, we talked shit about you on our... Well, we're not really talking shit about the guy. He does look like... Uh, remember that Big Brother Jake guy from the early 90s? Who was always wanting people to get fit and all that. Had a show on Family Channel. Remember Family Channel? Whatever happened to Family Channel? I don't know. We'll look that up. Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins. I can't stand these three. Period. Uh, I am so glad they changed that press photo, though. It looks like whoever the hell the guy is in the back with the fists up for watching us on, on video. It looks like he's getting ready to rain down upon the other two. There may be a split coming soon. Dan York uh, from Providence, Rhode Island. I don't know. Tom Burrell, who looks like, and I think I said this last year, he looks like a guy who should be on the front of a romance novel. Look at that hair. He looks like Talk Radio Fabio. Uh, Lincoln Ware, of course, he's probably, cons he's probably a freaking progressive. Of course he's a freaking progressive. Speaking of progressives, someone who is not a progressive, Terry Gross. Terry Gross from NPR. She is not a progressive. I can almost guarantee you that. She's probably your classic liberal, which really, that means corporate Democrat. She is probably, uh, of course, you know, soon I'll be able to say Donald Trump is not her president. <laughs> Rob Kamenetsky from KOA in Denba. Denba, Denba. Don't know who he is. Mark Reardon, who looks strangely familiar. Probably because I seen him last year on this list. And then, of course, Vince Coglinanese from WMAL. That smile is amazing. Look at that. I bet he's the kind of guy that when he smiles, you have that ding off his teeth. 
Stephanie Miller, who portrayed, uh, I think she, at one point, I think she was conservative, and then I think she became progressive. Um, Stephanie Miller has that, uh, she thinks she's a comedian. She has like a comedy tour or something that she does every year. Uh, Jeff Demeski and Bill Doyle, whatever the hell that is. Trenton, New Jersey. A lot of Trenton, New Jersey stuff. Bill Cunningham, of course, uh, Bill Cunningham. What can be said about Bill Cunningham? He was at one point, they were trying to make him like the next Rush Limbaugh. And they were trying to give him a TV show and a bunch of other stuff. It didn't, it didn't ever work. And then, of course, Golka, Sebastian Golka, Golka. Uh, my favorite thing to look up on Infowars' website is is Alex Jones challenging Sebastian Gorka to bare knuckles boxing. I love that. I love that clip. He goes, you want to get in a ring with me, Gorka? You think you're a big tough guy? Big fat bully? <laughs> it just, I can't wake up unless I two people to fight. Uh, Mark Belling he used to be a fill-in for Rush. Uh, I'm amazed that we made it through 51 through 75. Holy shit. Used to be a fill-in for Rush. And then he... Uh, oh, God. I see some people just... Just the, the photos flying by. Oh, boy. Uh, used to be a fill-in for Rush. That's all I know about Mark Malley. Uh, every time that the announcer would go, Hell, I am Mirage, Mark Belling. I'd change the channel. Not that I didn't like Mark Belling. It's just, I tuned into Rush to hear Rush. Chris Plant, or Chris Plante. Uh, man cow loves kissing this guy's ass. I don't know why. I've seen his Newsmax show once or twice. It's horrible. He thinks he's terribly funny, and he's not. Dennis Prager from Salem Radio, which I'm not a big Dennis Prager fan. There is a debate that he had with Jenk Uger of the Young Turks that is up on uh, the TYT YouTube channel. Um, I've watched a little bit of it. I think Jenk just ends up kicking his ass. Um, philosophically, as they say. Simon Conway... Uh, the guys in Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, the Quad Cities. I think he's like an af local afternoon guy at WHO. Because at one point they were hiring to replace uh, their morning show. Because they just walked in one day to WHO and said, get out. They just fired their morning crew. Get out. And I went over and applied for the job, of course. And then I went and I was looking him up. And he's he does some stuff. He's like a big, he's supposedly a big local star there. Probably heard they probably heard me trashing him on this show and I was like, oh, I don't think we'll be hiring Jiggy. Um Lynn Berman and Michael Riddell. I don't know who either one of these people are. Uh W O R in New York. And of course, Michael Smirkotish, the the dude who's always on CNN. He's kind of a mealy mouthed guy. Uh Tim Conway Jr. from KF High, Los Angeles. I'm still going to get to like us a little bit later on. Frank Morano from WABC. I don't know who that is. John Federicks, who has the John Federicks Radio Network. I know him from a show that he has on Real America's Voice, and it's horrid. Uh, Cats at Crosby, which, of course, Cats is the guy that owns the station. I say this every year. It's the guy that owns the station. And then Rita Cosby used to be on Fox News. And at some point, she used to talk like this. Rita Cosby. I always do it every year. It's the same impression. And I do it every year. Brett Winterbly, whoever that is. He has nice hair. It's coming from a guy who doesn't have a lot of hair. Jeff Katz, I believe. We were supposed to have Jeff Katz on this show at some point. I don't know if it's Jeff Katz, the author. I'll look this up. Jeff Katz. I believe we're supposed to have Jeff Katz on at some point. You know, it'd be hilarious as if Jeff Katz is booked right now. And I didn't go to him. And uh, Jeff Katz, Jeffrey Katz. 
uh, Jeffrey Katz. I think it's a different guy. Yes, this is Jeffrey Katz. This is Jeff Katz. Two different people. Two different people. Aza Andrew. He's he's the guy that thinks he's a pro wrestler. I say this every year. He thinks he's a pro wrestler. He's uh I can't wait for the next one because I already see the photo. Um Asia Andrews or Asa Andrews, Dr. Asa. Um, the Dr. Asa show. He was on uh Genesis Communications Network. He thinks he's a pro wrestler every once in a while. Like, I'll see something in Talkers Magazine about, I want wrestled somebody, or DDP, or somebody. He's buddies with DD me. I'm buddies with DD me. I got him in my phone. I call DD me right now if I wanted to. Bill O'Reilly at number 38. Bill O'Reilly had a, a talk radio show that failed. Uh, Bill O'Reilly used to use, uh, this is all Alex Jones stuff. Uh, Bill O'Reilly, uh, used to, uh, use the Fox news, uh, security as a secret police for callers that would call it an heckle show. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly has come out. I didn't find that link. I'm going to find that clip of, of, uh, Alex. Uh, verbally beating the shit out of Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly, Alex Jones. I'll look that up. Here it is. Bill O'Reilly, uh, Alex Jones fires back on Bill O'Reilly. Let's see what this is. And now Bill O'Reilly has come out. And now Bill O'Reilly has come out. And said it's time to shut down hate speech in America and then played a clip of me completely out of context. This is a guy who put caller ID on his radio show that was unpopular and failed. <laughs> and if someone failed. disagreed with him, he's such a bully punk. He's a bully punk, according so like to, to Alex Jones. Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly, I challenge you to a pay-per-view boxing match. You think you're so tough. Now, your dad was a you know tough Irish cop, beat you up, you say. Well, come on. You, th you know, you're a lot bigger than me. Let's get in the ring, buddy. In fact, you can bring one of your buddies. Because I can only wake up when there's two people to fight. You and whoever you Amazing. want. Amazing. Let's go, punk. Amazing line. Let's right, go, punk. So you try to I think that's my guess. favorite line, Rhea. In the ring, let's go, punk. Let's go, punk. All right. <laughs> You think you're so tough, you try to intimidate your guests, you get in their face, you turn their mic off, you get in their face and poke your finger in their face, you big fat bully. You, big fat you sit bully. there whenever um, you're scared to have me on your show. Of course, you get like 10 million viewers. You normally have about 2 million. Let's pull up his leg. No wonder Trump and Jones get along. <laughs> well, you have me on a show, you have like 10 million viewers. God. Bill O'Reilly's show that... that right here that got him on this list is basically the replay. It's the audio version of his show that he does uh, on his website every night. They just stick ads in. It's kind of an interesting concept, actually. He does one show and it gets multi-purposed everywhere. His website TV, radio, it's kind of, kind of an interesting concept. Wayne Allen Root, ladies and gentlemen. I love Wayne Allen Root. I have nothing bad to say about Wayne Allen Root. Wayne Allen Root has been on this show, I don't know how many times. He always takes time to come on the old Skip Skype. He has no issue coming on and humoring me. I love Wayne Allen Root. Uh, Mark Simone from WOR, another guy who used to fill in for Rush, who the minute they said Mark Simone was on the radio, I changed the channel. Eric Erickson. Uh, I guess it's one of those things where it's that they had nine months. I guess. I guess that's it. Uh, Hugh Hewitt. Hugh Hewitt. I'm not a big fan of Hugh Hewitt. He had a show on MSNBC. 
I think that failed too. Tavis Smiley. I'm a huge mark for Tavis Smiley. I used to like his show on PBS. I used to like his show when it was on. Uh, I, think he, I think he had one on BET at some point. I used to TiVo the piss out of Tavis Smiley. It was a huge Tavis Smiley mark. Um, and then some woman said he touched her and a whole bunch of people dropped him and then she went away and then he came back and he bought that radio station. That's what I think is great. KBLA, no one would hire the guy. So he just went and bought, he just went and bought the radio station. I love that. Chad Benson from Radio America. I don't know what a Chad Benson is. Mandy Connell, she's hot. It's the only thing I could say. I don't really know what she would do talk radio-wise, but I think she's hot. Doug Steffen, uh, he's one of these guys that you see on all the radio stations across the country. He's, I'm sure he's cheap programming. Jimmy Falia, Falia, or whatever the hell. Uh, he's one of these guys at Fox who's been trying to get over, and he's never going to get over. Uh, apparently he got over enough to be number 29 on this list. And where am I? Uh, Larry O'Connor. Uh, WMAL. He looks like uh, Clark Kent from Superman. So uh, Armstrong and Getty. They, of course, you know, cheap programming. You see them all over the freaking place. And the next one's going to be interesting. Todd Starnes. Todd Starnes with his Fox News Radio. I think they budget cutted his ass, and he basically did the same thing. He went and bought a radio station, and then he's got a show on Newsmax. I've seen it a few occasions. He wants to be Rush. That's uh, pretty much it. So we're in the home stretch here, baby. Number twenty-five, Harry Hurley. What in the hell is a Harry Hurley? Where does a Harry Hurley work? And what does a Harry, Harry Hurley do? Rich Zioli? What? Who? I don't know what that is. John Kobilat from KFI Los Angeles. And then, of course, oh, what can be said? Howard Stern, Sirius XM. At least Howard came out of his uh, his locked up uh, COVID studio recently. Howard, of course, did get COVID immediately, uh, but. He did have his interview with Biden, which kind of made some headlines, but. I'm glad to see Howard on the list. I like Howard Stern. I've always said, though, if the Howard Stern from uh, the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, who was, you know, sticking it to the FCC, you know, freedom of speech and all that, if that Howard Stern were to come back in a time machine, he'd kick this Howard Stern in the balls. It's just, just what it is. George Nori, of course, is number 21 on this list. Coast to coast with George Nori. George Nori. Didn't he retire a few years ago? I think so. He was the guy that succeeded Art Bell. And uh, if you're calling west of the Rockies, Jesus Christ, mid. I got an incoming midnight. There you go. Fight it out with. Fight it out with the other cats down there. Uh, Bill Handel. Handel on the law. The attorney. Uh, Kim Commando. Kim Commando. Her and her freaking... Her West Star Talk Radio Network. What in the hell is a West Star Talk Radio Network? I think I need my show. Um, Kim Commando. She's the computer lady. That's all she's ever going to be. Howie Carr, Mr. Boston himself. Uh, he has a show on Newsmax. And uh, it's him in front of a green screen. 
And uh, that's all I know. I've listened to Howie Carr on a few occasions. I, uh, Dom Giordano, I believe. Wasn't Dom part of a... Maybe thinking of Don and Mike. I don't know. Wasn't he part of some group? I think I say that every year, and I never look it up because I don't care. Ben Shapiro, the guy who took Michael Savage's spot at Westwood One, and Ben Shapiro's got to get agent, and he talks really fast, and I hate his voice. Recently got into recently got into a big knockdown drag out with Candace Owens. Sid Rosenberg, I have nothing bad to say about Sid Rosenberg. Sid Rosenberg's been on this radio show a couple times. Uh, used to be with Imus back in the day. Todd Imus. Uh, Lars Larson, I, I, I have nothing more to say in the words of the great Frank Catello. I don't know anything about him. Da, oh, Dan Bongino, ladies and gentlemen. Dan Bongino, who is too ashamed to admit he's a black guy. That is the most amazing thing in the world. <laughs> he's clearly black. He doesn't want anybody to know it. I'm clearly a pudgy white guy, but I don't want anyone to know it. Oh, speaking of that, we're going to get to that a little bit later on. Me being a pudgy white guy. Uh, Dan Bongino. Okay. Awesome. Dan Bongino. Whatever it is. Uh, he was the big replacement for Rush. He also, uh, at one point, uh, wanted to go to Fox News Radio, tried to burn his bridge with Westwood One. And then when Fox News fired him, all of a sudden he's like, I love Westwood One. <laughs> Let's see. The next guy on the list, I will not have a bad thing to say about. I never will have a bad thing to say about Glenn Beck. I have a huge Glenn Beck mark. I am a huge mark for Glenn Beck. Uh, I just find it strange that he has slowly but surely over the years aged into looking like Colonel Sanders. The KFC guy. But I have absolutely nothing negative to say about Glenn Beck. I will have to say that every time I go to the porn conventions and in the in the dungeon, in the BDSM area, 99% of the time they have a wheel. They have this wheel that they strap people to and they spin them around. I don't know what that is. It reminds me of the gyroscope that Glenn Beck supposedly got strapped to when he had a mysterious disease that no one knew anything about. And they supposedly strapped him to a gyroscope and it cured him. That is a clip that was on his Fox News show back in the day. Lee Habib. You know, I won't say anything bad about Lee Habib. You know why? He's been on this radio show. I won't say anything about Lee Habib, American Stories. Mike Gallagher, MikeOnline.com. Uh, Mike Gallagher, Salem Radio. Uh, I think Mike Gallagher must have had some sort of... crisis because he doesn't look like um he doesn't look like he's well because like if you look at his photo on his website and then you go look at another photo on his website I don't know. Did he have his stomach stapled? Uh, I don't know. Mike Mike Gallagher's show 
is absolutely amazing because he does the old gimmick of he'll give out a topic and he'll give out his phone number and then he just has the marks on. It is actually the greatest idea for a radio show. Because what he'll do is he'll come on and he'll be like, for instance, okay, go, go, go to his website. We'll, we'll do this. We'll go to his website. Uh, the very first topic he's got on there, let's say, um, uh, let's see. Democrats want every illegal to get citizenship. So he has this video of Chuck Schumer. Uh, said the quiet part out loud when it comes to the left's plan for mass illegal immigration. So he, he puts that up. And then he goes, I can't believe Chuck Schumer. Whoa, 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 what do you think about that? The phone number is, you know, 800-655-BIKE. And then he has all these marks call in. And, of course, they're all, um, they're all freaking, you know, conservative. So they'll call in and be like, I think Chuck Schumer ought to retire, Mike. And he goes, you're damn right. I think he ought to give it up because he's been there how many years? Let's go to Fran in San Francisco. What are you talking about Chuck Schumer? And then she goes, Mike, I think he's a piece of... Actually, they would <laughs> they would have run that on the radio. That would be this audience if we, if, if, if we were on national radio, which we are, but I mean, we had phone calls and all that crap. Tom Hartman is number nine. Tom Hartman is a progressive. What I think is funny is they see, they use the same photo of Tom Hartman every single year. And I think that photo is like 20 years old. Joe Pags, who at one point I think was supposed to be, he was trying to be the next Glenn Beck. He was trying to be Beck's fill-in. Something must have happened. I, I don't know what that was, but something must have happened because he uh, did not become Glenn Beck's fill-in. He's on something called the Compass Media Networks, whatever the hell that is. Uh, Michael Barry, the only thing I know about him is the same thing that I say every year. He has ads in Talkers Magazine. That's all I know about the man. Of course, Mark LeBan, Mr. Producer, is always in the list. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Mark LeBan. Uh He's the guy that had the... He had... Um, what the hell was it that they sold to the Blaze? And then they became the Blaze. And then, of course, uh, Dana Lausch, who I've always said. Uh, then she was on this show once. And it was a, it was a, um, she had a book. And she was just starting out on radio. I tell the story every year. And uh, you could probably, you could probably pin her down somewhere and ask her. And she'd have no freaking clue who I am. Um, Dana Lausch or Dana Loesch, whatever. Um, I've always said she is gotta be a big time conservative perf magnet. She is probably a freaky, freaky woman when it comes to, uh, the bedroom. Can almost guarantee you that. Clay Travis and Buck Sexton, the two guys who Premier Radio Network decided are going to put these two together, and they are going to replace Rush Limbaugh. And I don't think anybody bought it. Uh, Brian Kilmeade, of course. The only thing I know about Brian Kilmeade, uh, besides being on Fox News, is that he was the commentator for the first Ultimate Fighting Championships. And he used to say Sumu and Judo. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what Judo is. I believe it's a Jewish martial art. I think I make that horrible joke every single year. Uh, Dave Ramsey, of course, is the credit card, uh, cut up your credit cards guy, the money guy. 
Uh, Sean Hannity is number one. How in the world is he number one? Sean Hannity. The Sean Hannity Show. Scott Shannon. It is all the imaging for Sean. Sean Hannity. Uh, always wanted to be Rush. They should have given. They should have just given Hannity a bunch of money, and had him be Rush's replacement. That's what they should have done. Uh, I used to like when he did Hannity and Combs, but I'm not a big fan of him by himself. Uh, that's all I know about Sean. Um. Wallbanger is what Michael Savage refers to him as. Wallbanger, because he used to be a uh, contractor before he got into radio. Of course, uh, Jiggy Jag, Jiggy Jag dot, JiggyJaguar.com. Of course, the Talkers Magazine, uh, Heavy Hundred. And of course, uh, notable people that are not on that list, Michael Savage. Uh, I don't think Michael Savage even has a sh- a show on the radio anymore. A man cow, of course. Tom Likas. What are you hundred five hundred? Uh Tom Likas, you red bastard. Uh Bubba the Love Sponge, still on the radio, not on the list. Uh who else? Kid Chris? Kid Chris does talk radio. He's not on the list. And then of course. This guy. Sigmund Freud. But why in the world would I be on the list? That's the question. Don't lose the list, as they say. Uh, don't lose the list. Um, don't lose the list. So, there is that. But Okay, let's do this. Let's take a quick time out. Uh, we got all sorts of things coming up. In fact, I don't know what the hell we have coming up. We have something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out on the fallout filter. Uh, back after this, you are listening to the world famous. <laughs> 